Welcome back. This week, a three-year-old lawsuit concerning Dale County tax distribution to schools was settled out of court. It stems from a 2017 directive by then State Superintendent of Education to include Enterprise City and Dothan City Schools in the distribution of Dale County taxes. That's because some 600 students attending Enterprise City Schools lived in Dale County and less than 100 Dale County students attended Dothan City Schools. Under the settlement, some $1.6 million Locked in as grow will be distributed between Dale County, Ozark City, Delville City, Enterprise, and Dothan City Schools. In addition, Enterprise Schools will limit the number of out of district Dale County students it will receive funding for from Dale County. An ongoing thing for three years, so it's good to finally have a plan to settle this, get money distributed, and also to have a plan going forward. Baker thanked his counterparts in Dothan and Enterprise for agreeing to a school tax distribution formula. Following a decade-long hiatus, this fall, Daleville will once again have a middle school. Mike Gersman says the faculty has been busy transforming an unused hallway at the high school for middle school students. The Daleville City School Board did away with the district's middle school due to declining student enrollment in 2010. Now a decade later, Daleville City Superintendent Dr. Lisa Stam says enrollment is back up and opening the middle school will lower the rising population at the A.M. Wyndham Elementary School. To bring our 5th through 8th graders together and so we're just excited to have that opportunity to have some exemplary programs for them and uh, that will free up some space at the elementary school so that they're not so crowded and so we're just excited about that. Veteran educator Chris Minton has been named the new principal of the middle school. He along with his staff are excited about this new challenge. An elementary mentality but also begin the transition towards uh, more of a junior high uh, with our seventh and eighth uh, students so that we can we can kind of maintain an elementary mentality as far as a lot of the instructional model, but also continue to grow them into students who are prepared for high school. Each classroom on the middle school floor is being renovated and upgraded since they've only been used for storage over the last 10 years. Covering local news first in Daleville, Mike Gerspan, WDHN News. And with the possibility of schools having to start later due to COVID-19, Delville City Superintendent Dr. Lisa Stamps hopes the schools will be ready for students by late August.